Hi guys, welcome back to the separated Sunday service again. Kind of was hoping we'd get together this week, but it doesn't look like it. Ten's probably too small a group for what we do, even with the Sunday service, which is often just over ten. It probably is just over, so that's more than enough to say no, not yet. So I'm continuing on with the what's important to God idea that I started last week. And so this week, what's important to God is two things, mercy and grace, I'm going to look at today. Mercy and grace are often put together and they're said together. They're kind of like twin thoughts of the same idea, but they are actually quite different. Um, for me, um, they are almost opposite. In fact, to me, mercy is the withholding of punishment that I do deserve. And grace is the extending of favour for something I don't deserve. So on one hand, mercy removes punishment that I do, should be getting. And grace is extending something that really I don't deserve to get. But I get it anyway, because God is very gracious and very graceful. Um, so I'll illustrate that by a little story. So imagine for a second that you're a teenage kid and you've got your license, but you're only on your learners and you steal the car and you get drunk and then you drive and you crash into someone and you kill that someone and then so you are found guilty you are obviously guilty the cops come and they find you in the car you're the only person driving and so they're like oh this person is definitely guilty so you've been caught red-handed and then you go before the judge and the judge here's the case here's the trial and is like no definitely guilty and imagine that for a second you are in a state in America that has death penalty. So not only are you found guilty of vehicular manslaughter, but you are now guilty of the death of another human being. And the punishment for that is your own death. And so you're about to leave the courtroom and suddenly your father turns up and says, no, 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 no. Don't kill my son or my daughter. I will take the punishment. And the judge allows that. And your father is killed in your stead. Now that is what mercy looks like. Mercy takes the punishment that you should be having and takes it into itself. That's mercy. Grace adds to that. So imagine that you're still that kid and when you go home, your mother hands you keys to a brand new car. Best car, greatest car. I don't know what your favorite car is. I don't have a favorite, oh yeah. An MG soft top would be my favourite car. It's the only car I like. Actually, I'd prefer an Indian motorbike, but that's another story. Um, that is grace. Grace is going that extra little bit, and God does that on lots of occasions. You probably don't notice them because we're so used to them. So for me personally, the best example of God's grace out there in the world are actually butterflies. I know that sounds weird, but butterflies to me are little, just little bits of God's grace because realistically they don't serve an awful big purpose. Um, yes, they, they do um, spread a little bit of nectar around flowers. They do do a little pollination, but they're so insubstantial as pollinators that actually they might as well not bother. Um, so, and why so many of them, all these beautiful different colours and sizes and everything else? To me, it's just a real sign that God wanted something else out there. That he wanted to extend a little bit of something whimsical and pretty and stunning to just give us a little flavour of his grace. So that to me is what grace is. And so this week I hope that helps you understand a little bit of how mercy works and how grace works and that those are two um, major aspects of God's character. He extends mercy and he extends grace and both of those things can be found in the personage of Jesus Christ. So I hope you guys have an awesome week. I know you're all going back to school, those of you who are still at school age, and that's awesome. I hope you really enjoy it. Try not to get too exhausted. It will be quite tiring, I think, for you lot to be back at school, I'm sure. You